Couldn't you get married here too? Give it up, you're so annoying. I don't understand why you have to walk on eggshells with him with the sweating. It's like absolutely ridiculous. When I hear my sister say that her and John are going to get married in West Newberry, I'm thinking, ah, more sacrifices you're making for John. I thought for sure you guys would have selected Napa. Yeah. It's always been my dream, but I know John just really wants to get married in his hometown. Yeah. Well, dreams are usually broken. <laughs> wow. Breeze, what do you know about you or is it about John and I? I was like 100% okay not being a mom and then Bernie just gets cuter by the day. I know. Does it make you want to be a mom? I mean, yeah, of course. It's such a load of sh Nicole, what the f are you doing? There's someone else out there who will marry you and give you babies. Someplace in your heart you just have to be like, I love you, you're a great man, you're just not for me. That's what made me want to let the cameras keep rolling instead of demanding them to be off, was that I know I'm not alone in that, and I think also some women go through with it even though they know it's not right, and I feel like I can help be that, um, that leader and that face for them to give them that bravery and that courage. I can't tell you how many people have reached out to me since I made my decision of, I felt this, I ended in divorce because I was too scared to say something. And I think as women, we're such pleasers. And especially when you get so close to your wedding, you don't want to disappoint your family, his family. You think about everything you've paid for. You just think all that stuff so you go through with it. And I was going to do that, but it literally was just eating me alive. And I was like, I need to just put this on pause. And so I definitely, that's what I really want to come out of this at the end of the day is just to really give women bravery. It's kind of funny because when I look at Brian and I and how we are and our beliefs, how we live life and just how we wake up in the morning and decide to get dressed um, is the same. When I look at John and Nikki, it's the same. The way they like work out situations, the way they think, they talk, their wine taste. <laughs> <laughs> so I just look at them and I think maybe that's why I've, it's been hard on me because they just are so perfect for each other, but sometimes being perfect for each other doesn't work, so I don't know. I'm still trying to get my back. groove back. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, actually, no. <laughs> um, I want her to, like, I want her to find herself and I want her to find whatever it is that makes her happy. I want John to find the same. Um, but you know, I think it's hard on me too because John is like a brother to me. Um, he's been a part of our family for over six years. So it's difficult on both ends. But um, I just want them both at the end of the day to be happy. And so if it's being together or apart, whatever it is. Yeah. Thanks.